Hello, I'm going to show you how to do some video effects. First, I will show you how to clone yourself in the most common video editing program, Windows Movie Maker. Here's an example of what a finished product will look like. Now that you know what a cloning effect will look like, I will show you how to set up and film. Make sure your video camera is on a very sturdy stand and it won't move. You also will want to make sure that there are no clouds in the sky so that the lighting won't change. Once you are ready, hit the record button. While filming, pretend that the camera's point of view is split in half, like this. You have to film with you doing something on one side, then switch to the other side and do something else. Note that you shouldn't hit the stop recording button in between while you switch sides. You don't want to move the camera at all. Once you have all your footage, import it into the computer and then into Windows Movie Maker. Drag a file into the editing bar below and go to your transitions. Find the split soft transition. Now go back to your video file and find the section where you are walking from one side to the other. Split it and then clean it up by getting rid of the parts you don't want. Now go back to your transitions and drag the split soft transition in between your split video file. Once it's on there, grab the video file on the right and drag it as far to the left as possible. Now click the play button and watch. If it looks like this, it worked. But if it looks like no one is there, just re-separate files and switch their positions by putting the one that was first, second. Then try again. It should work then. Now that you have everything you want, save your project to a WMV file and re-import it so it is a solid file. If you have more clips, just repeat the steps and put all your files together to make one big movie. Now that you know how to clone, let's learn how to do some reverse video for Windows Movie Maker. For those of you who have a Mac, you should just stop watching because you can do this in like 5 seconds. Anyways, this effect requires no downloads, so all you need is a camera and a stand. For filming, film whatever you want. Wait, but just make sure that you know whatever you film will appear in reverse. Here's an example. I want to make it look like I can really jump, like, really high. So I stand on something tall, and jump off backwards and run in reverse. Now that I have everything that I want, I just have to import it back into Windows Movie Maker. Once it's in there, you have to drag your clip into the editing bar below. Then drag the bar all the way back down to the end of the clip. Once it's there, then just click on the camera button below the video screen. That will take a picture of the current image in the preview screen. Save the picture to any file, then click on the left frame button. This will move the bar to the left like one frame. Click the camera button again and save the picture. You will need to keep repeating this over and over again, which takes forever, until you get to the beginning of the video. And a one minute clip can turn out to be like a thousand pictures, so this could take a while. But once you have all of your pictures, just highlight them all in Windows Movie Maker and drag them to the editing bar below. They will be in reverse order already, which is good. Now go to your video effects and find Speed Up Double. Right click and copy it. Now go down to your editing bar with all your pictures and highlight them all. Right click on any picture and click paste. All the pictures should shorten. Keep doing this until all the pictures are as small as possible which is 0.7 seconds long. Now click play and your video will look like this.